In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the times I messed up in my career in cybersecurity. Um, I think one thing that it's important to talk about is uh, times where we mess up, where we make mistakes, or we do something that's like, you know, that breaks something. Um, just kind of show we're human, we're not always perfect, we're not always catching bad guys, or we're not always finding ways to catch bad guys. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my, my major mess ups uh, in my cybersecurity internship. Let's get into it. What is up guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I'll talk about cybersecurity, uh, college certifications, internships, and other life stuff. If you want to see more videos about internships where I talk about all the things about internships, I have a playlist with all of that, so definitely look for it in the description. I'll also leave a card to it somewhere up here. Uh, I know the, the, uh, the thumbnail is a little dramatic, but um, it's a it's a pretty chill story, um, but it's it was a it was a huge mess up. So let me let me let me let me tell you the guy, let me tell you guys the story. So um, this was this happened back in 2020 while I was back in my internship. Um, so uh, I was a security intern, security analyst intern, um, and um, one of my tasks, one of my major tasks was analyzing phishing emails and um, essentially uh, analyzing email campaigns um, and essentially uh, administering an email server. Um, so I had like access to um, the email servers and all of that. So I, I I had the ability to mass purge emails from the server, so I could easily um, use like PowerShell scripts to like delete like thousands of emails at a, 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 at a time. So that's kind of context for uh, where I'm going in this story. So uh, this was a Christmas Christmas period. Uh, you know, it's Christmas period in the company. People are sending themselves like you know gift cards or sending themselves like um, I guess I don't know like Merry Christmas stuff, right? And um, uh, there was a company-wide email uh, sent with like Amazon gift cards, um, and this was like this is like this is typically a like a, a sign, a possible sign of like a phishing campaign, especially if it's like from one particular IP address or one particular sender or domain, and it's like to one thousand employees or like a ton of employees, and it's like the same template, the same like everything is pretty much the same, um, and it's not like I mean obviously like from from where I'm going with the story, it wasn't from like a a company email or anything. So this email was from this like weird email address, and um, it was like an Amazon gift card, and it was a um, it was pretty much the same template. I think there was actually some typos as well. So it, it everything was just screaming red flag, red flag. This is a phishing email, red flag. Delete this email from the mail server. Purge everybody's email of this email. And so I didn't. Honestly, at that time, I didn't, I didn't, so th at this time, I was kind of close to him, like, because I was doing really well in my internship, like, I was, you know, I was doing really well, I didn't, I didn't have any issues up until this point, so I, I started becoming negligent, and this is where I learned that, you know, as a security professional or a security analyst, you can't be negligent, and you can't leave anything to ch chance, every detail matters. Um, there were certain details in the emails that kind of indicated that this email was from our internal HR department, but every, every other thing was just singing red flag purge so i you know created a filter for that email and i mass purged the email from every single person's email in the company so i was the grinch of christmas right so apparently the company had sent um some amazon, amazon gift cards to the employees and i thought it was fishing and i deleted all of the amazon gift cards from everybody's mailbox including my mailbox <laughs> so i was the grinch of christmas um i was the one who did not everybody of the Christmas gifts that the company sent to them. And I soon quickly realized what had happened because emails started coming in of, hey, um, we saw that our uh, our emails were deleted uh, about our Amazon gift cards. Is there anything going on? And it's like, oh, shoot, I, I messed up. And this was when um, I reached out to a senior, a senior engineer. I was like, hey, I think I might have messed up. I think I might have deleted um, some legitimate company emails containing gift cards for everybody for christmas and oh my goodness um that was the first time i ever heard um uh the engineer like he, he didn't really raise his voice but he was obviously pissed but he he um he you know he 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 was pretty nice about it um and you know it really reinforced for me the fact that i have to ensure that i'm always like i i do my due diligence like especially as an analyst like it's easy to kind of go into the flow of Seeing things, I'm like, yeah, this is malicious, this is bad. But you know, if you 
accidentally purge an email that is legitimate, you know, that 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 is like important for a business function, then I could potentially be catastrophic, you know. And depending on what kind of company you're working on, you know, if if you it could affect like relationships with partners or uh, or other organizations you deal with. Um, so this was a, a, a moment that taught me to to be very detailed and thorough with my investigations to not just immediately assume that. I've seen this before. This looks malicious, and just kind of come to the conclusion without really fully triage, triaging um, and ensuring that this is um, malicious activity. Um, I haven't had any any sort of mishaps like that since then. So I, I truly learned my lesson. Um, and you know, I, uh, my uh, my manager and my uh, my senior engineers, you know, they they were mad at they were they were mad at me. Like I, I remember clearly, it just you know advised me to be more um, to be more uh, aware and to be and to actually go through. The, the the triage process fully um, and let's just assume right and you know they told me like you're not you're not based you're not um, constrained by time like we're not looking for how fast you close tickets or how fast you uh, triage email tickets like we, we want to just see that you're properly closing these tickets out and you're not disrupting any business function um, that's what I learned like a lot of times it's not always as it's not always about how fast you're able to close a ticket or how fast you're about you're, you're able to triage something it's like the accuracy of a triage so if you close something as a false positive that's not a false positive that could potentially cause damage that could be a problem if you close something as a true positive or uh, something that you know is is not truly a false positive or a true positive you know that could also potentially cause damage so properly doing your due diligence fully triaging getting all the information and artifacts to show your analysis, uh, making sure you're not just like assuming just because you've seen something similar before is really important. And you know, from time to time, you can try to confirm with people, right? If I maybe confirmed with like a, uh, a, a HR employee, I might have not had that issue. So that was one time I messed up. Um, I was pretty much the Grinch of Christmas, uh, but you know, it was thankfully they were able to kind of, uh, because once you purge emails from um, exchange servers, it's kind of hard to get them back. But thankfully, HR was able to send those emails out again. And everybody got their Amazon gift cards, including me. So that was one mess of my career. Um, if you have any mess ups you've had in your career or cybersecurity career, leave a comment down below. You know, just share share, share a story about a time that you, you know, you broke something in production or <laughs> you, you, you created a firewall rule that, you know, pretty much didn't allow anybody to get into the uh, company corporate network. Anything you've done that, you know, you might have messed up in your cybersecurity career, leave a comment down below. Uh, I, I wanna I wanna hear you guys' stories. But with that, with that said, thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe. And of course, leave a comment and share this video with anyone who you think will provide value to. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.